Hey, how's it going everyone? It's Daikin here back with another video for you all and it is finally time You guys know I've been waiting for this game. It has been in my top five most anticipated game video of 2020 and it is finally here I'm so excited to try this game out with you all and to see what it all has in store for us Now I talked briefly about how the game actually works and stuff like that in my uh, previous video how it was going to be uh, basically a tower defense game I've seen video footage because I didn't get inside the other beta so this is going to be my first initial impressions and thoughts of the game with you all so let's go and get started and see what Arknights have in store for us let's go ahead alright so risk of data Arknights. this game it looks very good like, like I've been saying the UI for this game is top notch it looks very good go ahead and enter a name here Oh, I messed up my name. I'm sorry. And, like, they got some really cool visuals as far as, like, the art and stuff like that with the game. I think they're doing a fantastic job. Now, this is just my guest server, so I'm not going to bore you all with the story. I'm going to let you guys check all the cool story stuff for yourself. I just want to get in and show you guys the game. And give you guys my initial thoughts and impressions of it. So let's go ahead and get this underway. Alright. Man, starting off with some very like I like the I like the music. So to have a dark tone to it, like a very serious tone. Alright, so that's the enemy. He is a member of the reunion movement and destructive organization. Alright, so these are our units right here. Okay, so you can only deploy the units when you have this certain amount of points. So you see she takes 11, she takes 14. So we wouldn't be able to bring her out quite yet. So they'll gradually decrease over time. Okay. So you, it looks like in this game, you're going to want to have to like have a certain amount of units that's going to have lower points. So you can get some units on the field quickly. And you can gradually build up to those higher units. You don't want to have a bunch of like super high units that you can't put on the field because then you're just going to start getting destroyed really easily so it's definitely going to be some um strategic value when it comes to that Battle. all right and as you can see it actually so it seems like it has to start over watch out a new enemy has appeared Okay, you gotta choose the direction in which they like they face. So this is pretty cool. Um, I like how you can like put them on the platform here. I thought I'd only be able to use the floor, but it seems like this spot right here is actually something that you can use. I guess you want them to be out of the sight of battle because I I think this is like a healing unit or something like that. Oh no. I don't know many healers that uh, shoot machine guns. Maybe I was wrong about that. <laughs> okay, so explain the interface more. Okay, so this game does have like a fast feature. So for you people who don't like, you know, watching the mellow, slow paced version of the game, you can speed this game up to make it a little bit faster. And some basic information here as well. Uh, so you're, this is my total HP point, so I'm guessing certain enemies are going to hit harder than others. Um, I don't know if you can actually increase your HP. I hope you can, like, in harder levels. And I'm guessing some, yeah, I guess some enemies are going to hit harder than others. Some probably hit, like, one, and some probably hit, like, two, three, probably even, like, five and stuff. Mission accomplished. Alright, so this, you know, just the basic tutorial stuff of the game. Um, really cool character designs though. I know a lot they have a lot of like animalist characters or like a lot of characters are like sort of derived from like animals. So you got like cats, wolves, bunnies and stuff like that. So pretty cool character designs as far as they look. Really cute characters. Really cute characters in a very serious environment. <laughs> Alright, so here we go starting off again. Um, we're going to try to put the... How fast can you go? Okay, so two times like the speed right now. 
It's definitely a lot faster at two times, you can see. Tess can use more weapons to damage nearby enemies at the same time. Okay, so you actually can have some type of, like, uh, you can actually use skills, it seems like. Block represents the magical number of enemies that this unit can block. Okay, I see. Use your skill now. Got okay, so using your skills at the right time, yeah, it's definitely going to be the key in order to keep these units on the field as long as possible because they can only block certain amount. Um, I'm guessing block is basically their HP, so they can only take a certain amount of hits. Okay, so we have another unit coming over here. Do I have to... Oh, okay. It gave me another unit. I was about to say, how do I get her over there? Okay. So she's coming to help us. I think that's her special ability. Okay, I see it right there. It actually slows the game down a bit to use it too. That's pretty cool. So you actually got time to like think about the move that you're gonna do. It doesn't pause. I think you can pause the game entirely. Yeah. So I, I guess if you really need to like pause the game and like think about it, you can do that. Yeah. So, like I said, deploying your enemy uh, allies at like the right location. Is definitely going to be like key. I'm pretty sure there's going to be like some very high strats as far as like putting certain characters at certain exactly certain spots in order to get the most efficient use out of them on certain levels and stuff like that. Rhode Island's operators is what we are called. Alright, so we can see the abilities here. Shoots four times in a row, dealing 110% of damage. Wow. Then we can put it on this here. So you got a lot to worry about. You got enemies coming from all sorts of sides. All right, she's slowly working on it over there. I can put it on two times. Dada, you recovered, but... Okay, cool. Mission accomplished. One thing I definitely love to see, especially once you, like, get past, like, you know, the very beginning of games, is, like, to see how their, like, unit interface and how their, like, gotcha system and stuff work. It definitely is always an interesting process to see exactly how it looks. Like I said, I'm gonna let you guys enjoy the story for yourselves. Okay. So definitely check this okay. game out, because it's very cool. So get in here and see what this story got to offer. But now we get to look at the interface of this game. This is one of the things I've been looking forward to the most. This interface is very sleek in design. Like I said, it uh, definitely reminds me of Girls Battle Frontline a lot. Um, has some very nice chill music to it as well. Uh, it looks very nice, just very sleek, um, very like modern or even futuristic almost. recruitment all right let's definitely always like to mess around with it increase role all in roster right so more characters they call it head hunting that's sort of scary way to call it <laughs> and like like I was saying so you can see like the different type of units here uh so she looks like sort of like a oni he looks like a raccoon or something like you see like the different type of like animalistic type things they are or like sort of like creature realistic um she looks like the most human out of all of them maybe she is human i'm not quite sure okay so this is the currency you need to do your roles so uh one row is 380 and a 10 row is 3800 Alright, let's see how the gotcha system of this game works. 
I always like to see if like does it look like a cool animation or something. Okay, so it's like you're pulling out files. That's kind of cool. For this game, that actually seems pretty cool. That's pretty cool. For this game. And then like tells me my name. I think that's really sick. I think they got a really good one. Like, it just fits. It fits this game. It fits how this game works. If you read up on the story or you uh looked at some of the story, you see like how the game is like played, like I mean like how the story like works out, like your operator and all that, and like what you're trying to do. Like pulling out fouls and like you know your military and stuff like that. It makes sense. So I think they actually made it ground it to the reality of what the game is trying to set the setting um pretty cool idea there so i'm guessing this is where you manage your units and how you put your uh units together yes okay all right so these are the units i have so of course you get the main character amia you're the doctor who is basically your mc the person that controls everything behind the scenes Okay, and I'm guessing this is like how the story starts. Wow, this is a unique um, interface here. It's sort of, just because it's like all white and red, sort of reminds me of Mirror's Edge a little bit. Because Mirror's Edge and Mass is very similar. It's like all white with like red points everywhere. Alright, so we're going to start the mission. We're going to see how things go off here. And you get more cool character arc words more story uh they they put a lot of work into like the artwork of this game it's very beautiful to look at um i can't wait to like dive into the story but like i said i'm gonna let you guys do that on your own i want you to enjoy the story for yourself i'm not here to bore you with all the semantics i just want to show you guys some gameplay and see how hype the game is because it definitely looked like a fun from what i looked at when i saw it all right so let's kick things off all right, so we're gonna put this guy. Oh no! Can I not put him down? Okay. You okay? Oh, so they can only be in certain areas. Okay, so he has to be in one of these areas. He can't be on the ground. I see now. And then you can choose what area you want him to like face and attack. Okay, I see, I see. This guy, he's a defender. I'm gonna put him here. He's gonna defend the front lines. I want her there. She's gonna attack from here. And Amia is going to... I need somebody in the back. Somebody in the back to watch over. Didn't this would be a good spot? Okay. So you can see like the type of like the area that they're going to like that they could control. Um, as far as like their range of attacks. So you got to keep that in mind too. That's really cool. I like that. And like so, the rangers can only go in certain areas. They can't be in the main field. And then the other characters could be on the field. You got defenders, attackers, rangers. Pretty cool. I like the idea. Like I said, the story, uh, it definitely seemed like a, it looks a bit like gritty and dark. And I, I like that. That is, uh, it's, it seems a little bit different as far as that. Taking these like, it's, I don't know. It seems kind of cruel almost with these like cute characters in this like gritty, dark environment. Um, I didn't play much Girls Frontline. Is Girls Frontline pretty gritty or is it like, sort of still like cutesy i know the interface looks very like sleek and modern and stuff like that and so i got like a more um serious approach to the game like when i look at it it just looks more serious but if you guys play that game let me know is it uh is it actually as serious as the interface makes it to look i'm cool so you get a lot of goodies i like the results music it sounds pretty hype sound like i did something but we're still in tutorial, but it makes it sound like you did something. <laughs> I like that a lot. Um, what are these? Oh, I actually couldn't click on it. Okay.
so there's missions. Okay, so outside of the story, you also have some extra stuff to do. Um, that's good. Oh, okay, so these are like basically like they're missions. Okay, so they're like probably like daily quests and stuff you could do. So basically, that mission was to clear the storyline, and the next one is to clear main storyline TR1 and then TR2 one time. operation room okay so this is like a training area so I'm guessing in this game you have to do like certain training type things uh, or you don't I guess well I guess it's a tour you have to but I guess it's also good to do so you can practice your formations I'm glad there's actually something like if this if it's actually in this game like this where you can take your characters into like sort of like a training room because in any strategic type of game I don't think you just want to like just test your units out when the field like during like story and stuff like that I think you want to have like a, a clear plan going into the battles you can look at the field and know exactly how you want to try to place your units right off the bat because you already practiced and tested what they could bring to the table so I think having like sort of like a training thing is very good for this game um, so that's definitely a plus side I'm definitely good glad for that I hope this is just not a tutorial thing that's actually something you can do though Oh, that was story stuff. Okay. Alright, so he has to be up here. I remember. Have her, like, block off this area. His attacks are very fast, too. Okay, so we're we're getting someone else here. Also, she restores HP, so you want her? Can I can I cancel this? So for this unit, I would want her to be like somewhere around here, cause she can heal both of them. I don't know how he would get hit. How would those units up there get hit? I have yet to see them like take damage maybe there's like other arches that the enemies could use too and they like they'll try to target the people at top but so there is a healing unit in this game that's actually pretty cool Mission accomplished. of course you're going to have a certain amount of um allies out in the field at one time so having a, a medic will like take up one of those spots but i'm guessing in this game having a medic will be a crucial um tactic so that's cool and you so going to the story and stuff like that you'll get characters you get fouls and uh currency and stuff like that so this is really cool this is good stuff you get some nice background story too. So I went through this, I went through this, and this is the next mission right here. Oh cool, okay, so they do have, so you can, okay. So this is what I was referring to. So you see this right here, how it has this practice thing. So you can actually practice, uh, you can actually practice stuff. It does, unfortunately, it seems like it takes something called planning points. And everything takes, uh, this, I'm guessing, like, your, your currency to play, you know, like, that probably regenerates every day as you play the game. But, uh, so these are the units I have right now. This is the main menu. Events that are going on. Rates up. These are some banners and stuff. Exclusive hand hunting services. Uh, oh, yes, I forgot, yeah, I forgot. This game has skins right off the bat uh that's really cool i'm glad this game has skins i always love skins and games daily sign in bonuses always nice get currency and stuff like that don't know everything in the game yet but i'm pretty sure some of this is going to be like stuff that you can use to basically recruit more members 
like I said, just looking at this, like, sleek design, like, everything just looks good. Like, it just feels good. Like, just clicking on this, seeing, like, you know, you're ripping off the tickets. It looks nice. Ripping off tickets here. Like, I don't know. Everything just feels good in this world. Um, all the menus just feel sleek. They look very good. Like, I, ha I have no complaints so far. I think this is going to be, uh... Oh, a new character. I really do like how you get the character. <laughs> they flash the lights and all that. <laughs> I don't know. I think it's really cool. You got, like, sort of the glitching effects in the background. Very nice aesthetic. I think they did very good on their gacha system. So, yeah, guys, um, that's Arc Next. I like it. I'm going to be covering a lot more in this game. Uh, once I understand more about the game, I'll be making various tutorials on different things, trying to showcase the game and trying to help everyone understanding how to play the game. I am very interested in this, and if you guys want to see more, let me know. Um, I'll put the link down in the description below so you guys can actually download it on your various mobile devices, or if you play on pc like me then you know i'll have that link for you guys as well anyway guys if you like anything i had to say drop me a like i greatly appreciate it also if you want to see more from me follow my socials also don't forget to subscribe and turn on those notifications so you know when the next video goes live as always my name is daikin and i'll see you next time signing out ドクター、終わってない仕事がたくさんありますから、まだ休んじゃダメですよ。